Hi friends, this is uh, Kevin with Texas Yardman and more. I just picked up a new garden cart and uh, I saw online that they were selling it uh, for well, $179 at Northern Tool. I uh, had been looking around, I was potentially looking at the Gorilla cart and some other types of carts, but I decided to go with the strong way uh, dump cart and it holds up to 1200 pounds it's rated at however I would probably not push it to its limits um, you know uh, it has a removable liner uh, that you can take out uh, so like if you're using it for mulch and things of that nature uh, that liner uh, comes in handy um, but if you're using it to haul bricks and so forth the sides come off, uh, all the sides come off, and so you can just use it to uh, haul big items as well. So uh, the box, uh, it's a pretty big box, it's pretty heavy, it's a two-person lift. Uh, it is approximately 46 and a half inches wide, and it is 25 and a half inches tall and the depth of the box is about 13 inches and uh, I'm just wanting to show you what it looks like uh, in the box from the store um, it does have the dump option so um, you know you have a release handle where you can dump it uh, just like a dump truck and then you just put it back down and it latches back into place it has four rubber tires and it's got the hitch handle that um, you use to uh, hook up to your tractor. So here is the video. Okay, I have the cart out of the box. It's fairly straightforward. I just opened the top and I laid it on its side and I just basically slid it out carefully and uh, inside of it was the cage and the bed liner and then this box was sitting inside the bed liner and then there is the handle to the cart and right now it's configured for hand pull if you were just pulling it behind you and then inside this box looks like we have the wheels which are rubber wheels and they have air in them and you can fill up there's a valve stem there so you can over time put more air in if it needs to and so there's four wheels total and then in here, it looks like they've got these numbered very nicely. They have them labeled 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, and so I would imagine that when you're following the directions, it tells you which number bolts to install where. So I thought that was pretty neat. So we'll set that to the side. And there's our instructions. And inside of here, we'll just go ahead and lay it here and open it up. And it's telling you everything about it. It's got a nice little diagram. And here's the assembly instructions. And it tells you a, a recommended tool set for this. It uh, looks like it takes maybe four tools total and each page has the step listed. There are steps two and steps three, step four and five, and it goes all the way up to... Okay, and it goes all the way up to step number eight, and that's the final step as far as configuring the cart. And then, Turn the page, 
it has a instruction on how to use the swivel handle. Uh, essentially that that handle uh, turns inward and then you can configure it to use for towing behind a lawnmower or a four-wheeler or you know any other device that you want to use to or a machine that pulls uh, the cart and then it also has uh, it talks about the instructions on how to use the dumping feature with it and then at the very end it has a parts list and a parts diagram uh, that you can reference uh, if you're having some trouble setting it up but uh, that's pretty much it it talks about where you can get replacement parts it's got a limited warranty uh, the limited warranty I believe is one year from what I've been reading I'll confirm that uh, when I'll post that uh, in the video at the end and that is pretty much it I'm gonna go ahead and assemble the wagon and I will be back after that to show you Hi everybody welcome back I wanted to do a follow-up video of the wagon the garden wagon once I got it set up here's what it looks like and here's what it came in this box right here and I wanted to show you that uh, it's a pretty durable looking cart. I'm pretty impressed with it so far. Uh, it was really easy to assemble. It only took a few uh, tools to do it. And one of the things I found or recommend, you have a crescent wrench or an adjustable wrench. You're gonna need a 17 millimeter socket. A 17 millimeter box and wrench and this was not stated in the instructions but I recommend getting this it'll make it so much easier you'll need a needle nose plier and they said that you would need a screwdriver I suspect this was probably uh, for the cotter pins but uh, I didn't need it so uh, those were the only tools that uh, I ended up using you can go get yourself a cheap uh, like Harbor Freight Tools or Northern Tools and get yourself a, a metric standard socket set. I think they, I've seen them as little as uh, 10 bucks. So I uh, highly recommend you get it. It'd be good to have around the house or on the car anyhow. And uh, some of the things I noticed, uh, it is a little bit smaller than the box advertised. Uh, this container comes out. And I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how easy it is. There are, uh, you can come in closer. There are three cotter pins, one in the front, two on the back side. You just pull these pins. And then this tub comes right out. This is just a plastic pin. And this is what you would use to hold mulch and soil or dirt around. Just go ahead and put that to the side. Once that is out, hang on to your pins. There's some latches on the side. You just push those up. And there's little things on the side. You just pull that out. Pull up. Came right off, take those off, and now you just have a cart that you can haul bricks around in or any larger objects that go outside the uh, walls of the cart. So now I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to put these back on. There's little tabs right here, you just put that in. There's slots. that down that holds it in place same thing for the front
pull this out a little bit. Push down. And you'll kind of get the feel for it. It's pretty easy. As long as the others, these are in the down position, everything locks in and holds. Then you just simply go ahead. There's a tab here, tab here, and a tab in the front. Make sure those match up to the notches in the tub. They'll fall right down inside of them. And you simply take your cotter pins. and it's back in place. So it's very easy to convert. One other feature I wanted you to show it is zero turn. So you, you can turn this on a dime. It turns real sharp. And the other feature is the handle. There are two uh, pins right here with cotter pins to hook this up to your garden trailer or a four-wheel uh, four-wheeler or uh, any other motorized cart, you just simply take the cotter pins out. And then once you've done that, the handle swivels down, put the cotter pin back in. And then you have it like this. Actually, you would use the second pin. It doesn't really do anything other than you would use this to hook it up to your uh, tractor. So you simply put it in this hole, you would put this down, and then hook it into the back of your tractor. And then you would put the pin in like so with the cotter pin. And there you have it. And then to simply reverse it so that you can use it with the hand, put your cotter pin back in, and there you have it. So now you can just use it to tow, you get to tow it manually. And the tires are really nice. Uh, they're hooked, they're secured on with uh, cotter pins and washers. And it was really easy to put together. One thing I did want to point out is, I did say it was a bit smaller. This is 23 inches wide by 42 inches long and it's about 11 inches deep so it's a little bit smaller than the box lets on but overall I think that the, this is a really good cart uh, like I said I bought it at Northern Tools I got a 10% discount for being a veteran uh, I came out to about $175 so you can't beat that um, if uh, I'm going to go ahead and put some dimensions on my website. Um, if you like this video, uh, please give me a thumbs up, like or subscribe to my channel, and anytime you'd like to be notified of a new video, just hit the bell in the upper right hand corner.